It's not dog food. So it's a $25 quote unquote desktop computer. It's all the time. Oh, got a lot of my computers back with tissue. Literally, just just some cords. The world's oldest video camera. Feels terrible. Looks terrible. Clean Dell keyboard. Take bets on how much paper is underneath. Yeah, I'm sure that bounced around real good. Uh, supposedly it turns on, but we saw how well that was packed. There's also some sort of unidentified password. Could be Windows, BIOS, hard drive. I don't know. They don't. And the listing photos don't exactly paint the full picture. It's, um... And we have... It's like a... Oh. Display port, that's actually surprising. Combo jack, Kensington, more USB. No Wi Fi antenna. Let's set her up and get rolling. So it turns out it was a HDD password. I attempted a few ways around it, and we'll do it montage style. I've narrowed the activity to Terminal 23. Let's echo 23, see what's up. God wouldn't be up this late. I was able to get it through the master password, but it was way more effort than it's worth. Since the drive was wrecked and chipping from it bouncing around, it had so many smart errors that it was dumb. Uh, it's four gigabytes of RAM, got bumped to eight. I repasted the i3 4150T. Popped in a 500 gigabyte hard drive onto its single SATA port. The I.O. isn't terrible. The cheap Wi-Fi antenna is an easy fix. It easily ran Windows 10. Half-Life 2 was around 100 frames a second. It managed to push Fortnite at a whopping 45 frames, but it shocked me that it even ran. But anything else more demanding, it wouldn't even fire up. But not that I expected the ancient iGPU to do any better. Something this cheap makes a great emulator box or streaming box slapped on the back of your TV for 25 bucks shipped and some old replacement parts. Like It's not a bad deal if you can find one. I ended up flipping it for $75, which is you know the basic going rate for similar mini PCs. But if you can find a deal, they're totally worth a fun go.